how to buy and sell at the same time. Hi, I'm Brandi Fugate, owner and managing broker of the Private Label Real Estate Group in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Navigating the Buy and Sell Balancing Act can be more than just stressful. After all, it's a very complex situation. The challenge? Being able to secure a great price on the sale of your current home while securing a sweet deal on your new home. Not to mention lining up the timing so that you don't get stuck in housing limbo. Although it may seem overwhelming, it is entirely achievable with the right strategy and the right real estate team. Here's a few ways to make buying and selling simultaneously work for you and your family. Number one, a bridge loan. This type of loan acts as temporary financing that allows you to borrow against your current home's equity to fund the down payment on your new home. When would you want to use it? Well, if you don't want to move twice. Bridge loans give you the flexibility to buy a new home without selling your current home first. However, you must qualify to manage your current mortgage, your new mortgage, and the bridge loan. Option number two, a lease back. A lease back allows you to sell your home first and then rent it back temporarily from the new owner. This option buys you time to find and close on your next home. Basically, you become the tenant of your own home for a period of say 30 to 60 days, providing you with the funds from the sale of your home, but giving you 30 to 60 days to look for the right property number two. When would you use it? Again, if you don't want to move twice. A leaseback gives you time to find and close on your new home after selling your current home without having to move twice. Number three, a HELOC or a home equity loan. A home equity loan or HELOC lets you access the equity in your current home to help cover the down payment and closing costs associated with buying your new home. When would you use it? Well, you can use the money from your home equity line of credit to pay down payment and closing costs on the new house. And then once the current home sells, you pay off the home equity line of credit. This is another option where you must qualify to hold both the current mortgage and the new mortgage and the new home equity line of credit loan. Number four, buy with a home sale contingency. While this option does alleviate most of the stress of home buying and selling simultaneously, sellers don't typically prefer a home sale contingency as it puts their home sale at risk. This is because if you end up not selling your current home, then you'll have to back out of the new home contract and you're back to square one and so is the seller. Although difficult in our current market, this option's not impossible. Look for homes that have been on the market a little more than the average time frame. Considering a move and wondering how to make it work, reach out to us. We can help you decide which option may be the best fit for you.